generally when we test for HER2, we like to do initially at our institution, we do immunohistochemical staining. So we will stain for HER2 by IHC. And if it comes back as IHC three plus, then we do consider the tumor HER2 positive. Whereas if a tumor comes back as one plus staining, we would consider it HER2 negative. And if it comes back at that two plus, so that intermediate staining level, then it's considered HER2 equivocal, meaning that we need then to need to go on to a second test to assess for positivity. And at that point, we go on to doing a FISH test. So it, the FISH test um, is really looking at the ratio of HER2 um, to CEP17. And if that ratio is greater than two, and the HER2 copy number is greater than or equal to four, then we consider the tumor to be HER2 positive. If the HER2 ratio is um, less than two, but the HER2 copy number is greater than six, then we can still consider that HER2 positive. Um, we just need to go back and retest the copy number to see if it is consistently greater than six. And if it's between four to six, then you also need to consider retesting and recounting to see if it could be greater than six because that still could be considered HER2 positive even though the ratio is less than two. So again, there are these subtle um, cases um, where it gets a little tricky, particularly when the copy number is in that four to six range um, or if the ratio is less than two. Um, the easiest cases are when it's HER2 three plus uh, and the ratio is greater than two and copy number greater than four.